Well, I think we started in 1999 and excavated this site without, I suppose, really appreciating what we were going to do, or what we did, because this whole piece of rock slid down the cliff. No, I hadn't planned on the house at all, but the opportunity arose, and so it just really grew from that first idea of putting a house on the rocks. We had to stabilize the whole cliff face, which as you can see is done with reinforced concrete, anchored into the rock. I think it took us a year. Really it's Mediterranean gardening because it's such a dry situation being on the slope like that. And I'm just trying to make the cliff more stable with the planting I'm using and I'm hoping that after a while I won't have to climb like a goat. This was um, one of the original windows from the lighthouse which, because of a landslide, was partially demolished and I had all of the windows and in fact the bronze lightning conductor on top of the chimney is also part of the lighthouse. Um, I had all of these unfortunately, but somebody stole the rest of them, but we've got one which we um, use as a pattern for the rest of the windows in the building. It grew quite slowly, so there weren't any major surprises. But I was really more of a support role and uh, someone to bounce ideas off rather than getting physically involved in concrete pouring and rock anchoring. You're always learning something and pouring concrete because you're supposed to pour concrete or pump concrete uphill but we're pumping it downhill and as soon as the, the pump stops or there's a problem it starts to go off on the bend and th this is the problem we've had all the way through that you know, you've got to break the whole pipe then to, to unblock the pipes. Well, in one instance, putting the sea wall in there, we've um, had to abort 10 whole lorry loads of concrete. It always had a lovely atmosphere, really wonderful, and um, that hasn't changed, I think. 